pretend that airplanes in the noise guy. This one goes out to little Sasquatch. And I shot her down. All right, ready? Yeah. All righty. Oh, wait, do we have to clap? Yeah, probably. All righty. We are back. Son of a boy dad podcast. You know what? What the is fuck up, time everybody? It is. Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. Yeah. Today, it is Monday. It is August 8th. We are coming to you live from Barstool HQ 333 7th Avenue, 10001, <laughs> New York City. Second floor. Second floor. Third row of desks, far against the wall, right on the end. Yep. Or no, one in from the end, next to Frank. You have security guards, though, and they will shoot you upon arrival. But just, if you get past them, you just have to make sure you get around Frank the Tank to sh- to light up sass. Like no, no, no. fucking None Christmas of that. tree. None of that. Oh, you won't I be I like shot? to think everyone who listens is a fan. But if they're not, they know where to find you. Exactly. He's outside. It's actually a public address, so I don't think I did anything. I don't think I exposed anything. That shit is not wrong, dude. Even if you did, that's your truth. Yes. I'm an honest man. My boy likes to live his truth, and that's mm-hmm. fucking acceptable to me. I'm straight. Dude, I'm gone off caffeine right now, dude. I had two sips of this fucking... There's like 10 milligrams of caffeine in that. And I'm buzzing. <laughs> you Probably because of the double extra large iced coffee you had this morning. I didn't have a... What with, are you your, with your about? fat ass. I don't fucking, first off, I drink black coffee. Please, with your fat ass. What are you talking about? Are you saying that this son of a boy dad merch makes me look fat, dude? No. That makes you look good. Son of a boy dad merch is slimming. It is. I actually, this is a large, and I usually would wear an XL, but a large. this is a large as well on me. The XLs are a little big. Yeah. Well, they're. They're the true to size. Vanity sizing, dude. I've, I'm finding out that I'm fat as fuck when, when you actually measure your waist versus what your fucking waist is, dude. Well, how, how big is your waist? Big enough that at the pop punk concert, I wasn't popping my shirt off when the rest of the band. <laughs> Everybody came out with their shirts off. I was like, fellas, we didn't talk about this in rehearsal, dude. We're not going rogue like this. How big is you? Uh, my waist is big. I got a big waist. Probably like 34 inches. I think I'm around that as well. But like. Maybe 32. Yeah. I would wear, I was wearing like a 32. I don't know, dude. Maybe we're a 32. It's because I get my, my the way I'm built. It's all in your rolls. It's all, not even the rolls. It's just where that's where my bones are. You can just where my see. bones are at. Do you have short legs or long legs? I got long legs. Daddy, long legs? Spider. Dude, I used to think I had long legs, and then I found out I have short legs. I found out because I was sitting on a bicycle seat. I had to make it fucking lower. I have a tall ass bicycle seat. I'd be there fucking was just wobbling. Longer legs than you. A lot of people have longer see, legs. See, man, it's not always about comparing yourself to the next person. Fuck, Focusing bro. on yourself. Chill, Sass. Don't give me so many fucking pearls, dude. Focusing on yourself and accepting yourself for what you are. Chill with the fucking pearls of wisdom, dude. When have you? When did? Since when did you get on your Buddhist shit? I've. Uh, I've You've been self satisfied as God. fuck. <laughs> I've been praising God and spreading love religiously. For real? Mm-hmm. What? What put you on to God? I'm, I'm fighting the urges to spread hate and accepting the urges to spread love. Who put you on to the Almighty? Myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, uh, what, did you have a come to Jesus moment or was it just- You hit uh, low enough points in your life, you turn to God. Yeah? Beg for forgiveness. Dude, he is a fucking, he is the the greatest of all time. I know. The wonderful counselor. The, goat. the fucking almighty father, yeah. dude, the prince of peace. This is a religious podcast now. Yeah. Honestly, we could definitely get way more money if we were on our religious tip. Dude, the top podcasts are all religious podcasts. And true crime. Yeah. It's like about it's how people, people listen die. To, listen to the murder podcast and they have to go beg for forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. And switch over to the religious one. How you die and where you go. It's all in fucking. It's people get off on hearing stories about like teenage girls being brutally murdered. And people get off on telling themselves that they're good people because they listen to a Jesus podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't, it's actually fine that I was racist to that checkout clerk. I'm a fucking Because I begged for Christian. forgiveness. Exactly. I mean, it is get out of jail free. Begging for forgiveness. Death, deathbed you're repentance. Mortal sins. <laughs> then you're in a world of trouble. <laughs> were you? Murder. Where were you that you were just so churched up? And what God are you talking about? A fucking all Christian gods. God? Yeah, all of them. Oh, really? Allah. Really? Yeah. Mashallah. 
Dude, yeah, dude. Allahu Akbar, dude. Yeah, now, 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 now. We can't say God is good? Allah Akbar, isn't that the terrorist thing? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> no. I think it just means... <laughs> Every time they're about to do a terrorist attack, they yell Allah Akbar. Yeah, I think that they're like praising God. Oh, yeah. I think well, they're no. just like, God is good. Allahu Akbar. I, I don't use Ta- that Tyler, phrase. I, I want to be right about that. Is that right? I don't use that specific phrase just because of... The connotation. Because of what has gone on with it. The implication? No, dude. I think it just is. I think it's just like. Uh, People took that. Allah is the greatest. Allah yeah. is the greatest. People took a beautiful phrase and they destroyed it and they filled it with hate. Yeah, the connotations behind it. Mm. Oh, God's so good. Well, Allah. But I mean, Allah is their God. You just said that you. Yes. Well, yeah, I worship Allah. Fuck with all gods. And Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Well, I don't know if you can have that cake and eat it too. I don't know if you're allowed to have both of those things. You can't worship both, dude. You can't worship all gods. You most definitely can. That's greedy as fuck. I'm doing it actively. Celebrating all holidays. Mm-hmm. Diwali and Kwanzaa and yeah, fucking Kwanzaa. Passover. Passover. And fucking I already, yeah. Whatever the Christians are doing these days. Yeah, they're fucking around with everything. Martin Luther King Day. Brother, that ain't religion. <laughs> For me, it is. <laughs> I fucking love that guy, dude. He is the goat. He's uh, sneaky goated. MLK is sneaky goated. <laughs> On the low, dude. Yeah. Very low key yeah. goated. He's a low key goat. He got. He was one of the first guys who I saw was victim to bad. Uh, uh, what's it called? Search and SEO. Bad SEO. Like the number one thing you used to Google that that came up when you Google Martin Luther King was like tapes of him like talking to a mistress or some shit like that like on google it was the top thing on google dude it's called white supremacy yeah they were just white supremacists his it's called white supremacy in a capitalist nation yeah dude it's fucking dude you're based as fuck right now <laughs> what type of time are you on you're fucking I'm just, buddhist I'm you're just based spreading love dude it's, it's, yeah you're self-satisfied Pretty much what did you what did you come into a woman or money no neither i'm not self-satisfied well i'm a little self-satisfied see what are you so smug about on the game lately but uh yeah bro i'm just practicing gratitude for the day it's crazy because it, it, i don't even feel like it's an act oh no it's you've real. been super open and you've been, uh, been stopping myself from being a hater what types of shit did you have to give up hating or would it be detrimental to even acknowledge them? It would be detrimental for me to acknowledge them for sure. Was it people? Individuals. Really? Um, that are closer to where I am currently than others. Should we play Marco Not Polo this- and figure out my who they team, are? Bro. Who was it? Damn, no, now I'm that- kidding. I never hated on anybody. Was it Ebony? No. He's right there. Ebony's a friend. It's yes, Stephen? I would go as far as to say I love her and I would sacrifice for her. Was it Stefan? It was Stefan. Got me. <laughs> the tech guy? The tech guy. We have big beef. The number three slash four tech guy in the yeah. pecking order? No, I'm just too negative and I'm, 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 I'm always just having inner battles with myself. How did you even notice that you were too negative? How did you even diagnose it? I feel like that's a good first step. I don't remember. I think it had something to do with just last week. I was just traveling too much, spiraling downhill. And I just yeah. had to rewire my brain. Dude, well, the good things about the undulations a hater. of the psyche is you'll probably be back to hating in like no, two days. No, no, no. I haven't hated in a while. Yeah? Yeah. You turned over a new a new. This leaf? has been a long going thing. Really? Yeah. What, uh, how, how did you get rid of it? I feel like this would be helpful for people to figure out. Stay in your own lane. Focus on yourself. Damn, dude. That is- I'm not comparing myself to other people anymore. That is a fucking other pearl, dude. That is an absolute pearl. It is. You start comparing yourself to other people, you'll be like, why am I not getting what they have, dude? Like, why are, why are my things not doing what the, their things are yeah, doing? Yeah, you wonder, well, why am I the lowest paid employee at the, at the company? <laughs> and then you think, oh, well, I'm blessed to be getting paid at all. Why do I live in an apartment that looks like an Argentinian slum, <laughs> a lean-to that was built on top of another lean-to on top of another I'm lean-to? I'm happy that everyone else is making money. <laughs> yeah. Happy that my friends are doing well. In like a communal sense, we're doing well. Yes. yes. Me personally, but as like, you're a communist. Is also, as are. a man of God, you don't really, money's not really something that you focus on as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you would just taking be given a vow a- of poverty? No, not quite, but I am. Trans- next step is transferring over into a minimalist lifestyle. <laughs> Dude, I watched a documentary on the minimalist. And then, like a before. month after that, I'll just be coming to work naked. <laughs> <laughs> no backpack, no phone, nothing. Just my voice. God's greatest gift is the voice. <laughs> just floating through life. Yeah. Ass naked. Yeah. Hard as fuck. No, no money. No money. Nothing. 
<laughs> no worldly possessions. Nope. <laughs> Just his voice, his ideas. <laughs> yep. All man needs. Just his his voice and his vision. All his senses. All you need is to be able to perceive, brother. Exactly. Because that's when you make the true connections. Not the worldly connection to pieces of fucking rectangular paper that you define yourself by. Amen. I will say oh. I have a bad stomach ache and I've had one since <laughs> last night. <laughs> and it's I'm struggling to find what is the, what is blessing about that. Oh uh, yeah, you you're hurts. slave to your earthly vessel right now. now. You got to fuck it. It's going to give you the opportunity to be all the more thankful when you don't have stomach that pain. Passes. Yeah. Exactly. I uh I and ate a, a good hot dog on being the Amtrak. Sick. Huh? I ate a hot dog on the Amtrak yesterday. Well, I think it's we just been destroying my intestines. And the man who brought you lobster roll from Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lobster bisque boy. Yeah. Yeah, Amtrak hot dog is much worse than the lobster bisque from Wawa. You were on on Twitter being like, "Yeah, I'm shot. Apparently, I'm the only one who eats the hot dogs like, on Amtrak." And I thought it was gonna be like a banger, and then it got like three likes in like two minutes. And I was like, "Oh, I guess no one else has done this." It's like the comes least in a natural bag. <laughs> comes in a bag. <laughs> is it one it of those? Is, dude, it, I I felt it going down, and I was like, "That was a mistake." But dude, it. it I went, so I had a spot. I was in Providence this weekend, and I had a spot at the stand last night at like seven. I get in the Uber to go to the stand, and instantly it was like, oh my, I'm like, it was like one of those times where like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Like I might, sh I'm actually might shit my pants. From the hot dog? From the hot dog. I get in the, I get to the stand, go until there's like a, there's like one, one person bathroom. I go in, lock the door, start shitting my brains out. This person is standing outside of the door knocking. Is anyone in there? And I'm like, yeah, someone's in here. And then like five minutes go by and they're like, is someone actually in there? And I'm like, dude, it's a one person bathroom. Why would the door be locked if no one was in here? They like get the master key? It's like a slide lock. There's no key. Like it's like one of those. He's like, yes, someone. And I said, what do you think I did? I disappeared into thin air. It was like, obviously someone is in here. So then I had to cut my shit loose and then three girls go into the bathroom. Damn, dude. Like, what the fuck was that? So that got me fired up. Were those the women that were banging on the door? Yeah. That's they had to go fucking do whatever. Probably, hopefully pray. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I hope they were praying for forgiveness for making me cut my shit short. Yeah, that's and one of the worst feelings. I on stage with a horrible stomach ache, and I explained to everyone. And I said, still poop in your butt. Yeah, I explained to them on stage. I said, I'm not feeling well. I have a bad stomach ache. Were they sympathetic or did they think you were goofing? They thought I was goofing, but then I implied to, I informed them I'm not actually goofing. This is, I have a terrible stomach ache. Please, someone give me Pepto Bismol and they're just laughing louder. I had someone on standby in case I had to leave. In case you shit yourself? Because I shit myself on stage. And, it, and I never, and then I didn't shit again. So it's still in my stomach and my stomach hurts bad. Wait, you haven't pooped since two days ago? This was last night. Oh, it was last night. Got it, got it. Dude, I had the same conversation going on stage that I was about to, I was like, I might have to poop myself going on stage. Like I thought my it was just a natural body response to being like a little bit nervous. And it's like, you might have to shit yourself. But then I was like, no, it actually is real. Oh it yeah, real I poop. actually was, I had a, uh, yeah. Bad. You need someone that's, instead of someone that will cover for you, you need someone who will just come up there and poop with you. Yeah. Like shit in solidarity. Like thing, yeah. yeah. And just catch, kind of have like a little group think idea about it. That's what the fellows were saying. PFT was like, I'll shit with you, dude. If you shit yourself, don't run off, dude. I'll just poop with you. And he would. He definitely would. Oh, he would. He's right or fucking die. He was popping his shirt off fucking immediately. Dude, it's some absolute He's jacked. bullshit. I know. It's bullshit. And he is like a body that's like perfect for, it's like all compact movements, dude. He has a body that's perfect uh, to build yeah. mass yeah he does I mean, he's strong we saw him doing the, on the yak that one time remember he was just throwing around 215 yeah he's fucking built like that dude i don't even make my fucking shoulder blades touch enough dude I don't, I don't even consider that my shoulder blades should be trying to fucking touch i saw a video of a dude who who like was sleeping with his hands behind his back they're like he's getting arrested in his dreams or whatever but it was uh it, it i don't think i could even sleep like that i think it would pop both of them out dude no, do you definitely couldn't do that? That would Sleeping hurt so much. With this, but it's probably great for your fucking posture, dude. My shit cracks. I fell asleep the other day, like with my head, like, like this, and I woke up and my hand was in like so much pain. You just rushed to jerk off. No, <laughs> like, I'm so I, asleep. I like moved my arm and it, I'm and I moved my hand and it literally felt like it, like I broke my arm because he yeah. was just like stretched like this for like three hours. Dude, you definitely you're you're definitely gonna have some pinched ass nerves. You're going down oh, yeah. the wrong path, dude. You got to start stretching now, dude. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't believe in stretching. I believe in God. 
<laughs> Father, stretch my hands type of yeah. shit. That's the only stretching he'll be God doing, stretches dude. Me out. <laughs> stretches my mind. I bet he does, dude. I bet your priest is stretches too, my bro. mind into a better place. It it takes you higher. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a priest guy. Like I don't fuck with that shit. What color do you think heaven is? White. Really? Yeah, it's all clouds. That's what you picture? I imagine just walking on clouds. I picture it as a rose. blue green. No. Kind of a blue green tint to everything. I would hope that there's like trees and beaches and mountains and stuff. Nah, dude. Probably not, dude. It's probably just buildings. It's probably like a really economically set up downtown. That would suck. It's not built around cars. It's built around humans. Walkable city. Yeah, it's a super walkable city. <laughs> walkable levels. cities that aren't walkable suck ass. L.A.? Brutal. Sucks ass. No. Dallas sucks ass. Dallas. Atlanta sucks ass, dude. Oh, is Atlanta not walkable? Not at all. Sucks ass. I'm going there this weekend. BT Dub. Yeah, that's a, that was a little setup. I'll little be in bit. Atlanta this weekend performing my craft. <laughs> performing your art in performing supplication of the one and only true savior, Jesus Christ, Christian I Jesus. I'll be preaching the good Lord's word. Six pack white stage. Christian Jesus. Atlanta at the Earl. At the Earl? At the Earl. Tickets are in my bios. Plural. Maybe get some Waffle House while you're down there? Yeah, this is going to be one of those weekends where I don't leave the hotel. Why? Because it's not walkable, probably. It's not walkable because I, when I was in Philly, I had a kid, Connor Mook, who is, I know, so we hung out. Actually, that's not true. We didn't hang out, but we hung out enough. But then I was in St. Louis. Was hard. Yeah, he, he's helping yeah, with he, the podcast. He here right. now, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Francis and me went to St. Louis, so we did a bunch of shit. And then I was with Colum in Providence, so we did shit too. But I'm not going with anyone for this, and it's just going to be me and my thoughts and, of course, our Lord and Savior. Colum had that funny tweet about Dave. Yeah, it was funny. And he was texting us like, fellas, bump this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Tartine. <laughs> yeah, we're not- I've noticed that he's, uh, he can't pronounce it. Great Tartine. Yeah. Yeah, dude, he's uh, he's got some fucking nerve talking about Dave like that, dude. About Prez. That shit's not fucking cool. Um, I didn't think that was that fucking funny. Harry, this art you're perfecting, is it for man or is it for God? Yeah. What, what, are, you, like, what do you really want out of this? Are, are you trying to get more, like, earthly joy? Or are you trying to fucking make some cash that you can funnel up to your local pastor and he can give it to God? It's a combination of everything. I mean, I'm I'm trying to spread laughter and spread joy on the world in the world, so that God will accept me even more than He already does. And maybe so they'd be more willing or in a mood to accept Him. Exactly. Damn. Are you uh, taking nonprofit shows? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> these shows don't go. It doesn't go to me. Wait, but how come it's hundred- donate it to the barstool fund? <laughs> I donate all the money to the Barstool Fund. You're merely a prophet. And And everyone knows the Barstool Fund is directly connected with God. (laughs) You're the fourth biggest donor at this point. Yeah. When God created the world, he said one day, he's like, dinosaurs, fuck them. The Barstool Fund was his main goal. That's the one way. That's the one way. This is what we needed. Follow the Barstool Fund. And much like churches, it's tax exempt. So we can kind of just funnel any type of money through there. So all the money. That's the best part about it is actually what what really is happening is I donated to the Barstool Fund and then I opened up my own business. (laughs) Then they give me the money and it's tax free. But it is, you are doing it as uh, as a volunteer. Yes. And it still feels good. It feels good because I don't have to pay tax. As the CEO of that other company, you've you've come into a, a great amount of money. Great amount of money. To the fact where you're Extremely taking successful a private Originally, plane. you were in need. Yeah, we are. It is a very, we're doing, we're doing well. You heard that Taylor Swift sold one of her planes. Sass bought it. I did. <laughs> through, through this other company. And he's fucking flying. But that's only to spread the word of God, dude. If God doesn't want climate change to happen, may his mighty hand come down and fucking patch the ozone layer himself. We don't have nearly enough, uh, like, religious content at this company. Yeah, I think that they're like, it's impolite to talk about religion. I think people think it's like impolite to talk about politics and religion. When really... People come... come, Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. (laughs) What? People come to listen to Son of Boy. They want to hear sports. They want us to talk to... Well, gambling. Gambling. And dude, want to hear about God. I saw that fat parlay you hit while you were fucking up in New England. Mm-hmm. God damn, that was a fat parlay. I'm big into parlays these days. Yeah, you. what was it? First inning unders or some shit like that? I think I had the over on 150. Yeah. And I, yeah 150 s- runs in the first yeah, inning. Yeah, I scored the- It hit. Hit the over. Oh. Cashed out. Good payday. 
But that's that only fuels up one fucking trip to the ocean in your boat, really, with the price of fucking gas these days. So it did dip a little yeah. bit. It's been dipping a little gas bit. Gas has been going down a little bit. Joe is uh he's doing a good job. Wait, what was uh what was Jack back tweeting about this morning? The uh the coral reefs starting in a better position than they've ever been before, too? Uh, I don't know. What is that supposed to be like a dig on the environment? No, it's he's saying that the envi- that nature is healing on its own, dude. We don't need There are I, I have heard that. some shit like that, which is actually pretty interesting that it, it can happen, but it won't. We're fucked. Are we? Yeah. All right, Greta Thunberg, dude, chill, bro. Sorry, I forgot you were a fucking MAGA. I forgot you were MAGA, bro. No, I'm just a uh, uh, atheistic existentialist, bro. I'm just trying to chill off my shit. Dude. I'm Mara. Huh? I'm Mara. What's that? Make America, Make America religious again. Oh, I thought you were going to say Republican, dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Mara. Mm-hmm. All right, I fuck with that. Make America religious again. I think religion can fucking pop. Like we do need, we're about to need God more than ever. Yeah, with we the, all have sins that we need. To the shit that they're teaching. For. How does ban, how do banned books work, dude? That shit is so dumb. I, I went through a big. Uh, I, I did like a deep dive on that. Like every book is banned, but they're not actually like who like what is a banned book. Yeah, by like, is it by like, it means like, schools? oh, it's not in the curriculum. Like, yeah, no, the curriculum, they read a bunch of dumbass books in high school. They read a bunch of Shakespeare and all this dumb shit. Yeah, we had like banned books and it's then. It's not like, yeah, it's not like if you're like in high school and you go to the, you go to the, you go to the bookstore and you buy Slaughterhouse Five. They're not going to like, you're not going to get arrested. Yeah, it doesn't like, I, I don't understand it at all. And it's like things that are like popular movies, like The Hate You Give is like a banned book right now. It's yeah. like that mo- that was like a movie that popped off. And like we had banned books and then we read The 25th Hour and there was a scene where women are doing ass to ass. And then we read Train Spotting. Is ass and it's to like, ass do? Ass to ass? Is that a pleasure? Like do you get pleasure out of that? Well, it's like a bunch of asses? dudes, probably finance bros, about 30 of them sitting in, in a room all circling two women who are on all fours with a, a, a double-ended dildo and they mm. slam their asses together and the guys chant ass to ass. Yeah. Wow. That was that's what was in our fucking curriculum. And they're banning other books. They're like banning. You didn't read any good books in, in school. The best book I read was Huckleberry Finn. Yeah, yeah, that book was great. Because it had the N word in it. No, it's just a good ass book. Incredible. No, it's a good story. It was this um, edge lord ass book. They should give like the the curriculums should have better books. Yeah, any book that I've read outside of high school has been a better book than I've ever read in high school. Well, they're just like, and they wonder why no one reads the books. Like, yeah, because no one wants to read this fucking shit that's not even in English from three thousand years ago. It is a whole like, different of wrath. Yeah. Yeah. Or like uh, bullshit. Catcher in the Rye or the fucking Great Gatsby, which are all like they're yeah, Great Gatsby sucks. It like fantasizes a time that like people boring. can't relate to. It's probably cool to the people at the time who are like, oh, we're, they're doing these cool parties and shit like that. Yeah. But it's like that's not the type of parties that are cool anymore. No. You can bring me to a Great Gatsby party. I think you're a fucking loser, yeah, dude. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? You ever been to one of those? No, dude. I, I, I just haven't been cool that. enough to be invited to one, to be to honest either. with you. Yeah, it would be fucking I sweet. I would definitely go. But those fucking losers, dude, with the Run fucking... Yeah, wearing a suit, sick. dancing all fucking... Sick. Yeah, that would be fucking fire. And fuck like that, the girls can wear a fucking like necklace on their forehead or yeah, whatever the, the fuck they wore back yeah. then, dude. Ugly fits back then. <laughs> yeah, we're ugly not, ass hairstyles. Throwing, they were not throwing fits back. And they were definitely stinky, dude. They definitely were fucking smelly as fuck. But I tried to rewatch The Great Gatsby, the movie, the other night, and it is sweet. Baz Luhrmann does go off, bro. It's not that good of a movie. I all right, just it's it looked fun to me. It's way too long. Yeah, I fell asleep boring. during it. There's a little Betty by movie. The only good scene is the scene where Leonardo DiCaprio turns around and lifts his wine glass. Hello, old Damn sport. Great Gatsby. <laughs> That's what he says. My name is... Yeah, say my Gatsby. name. Gatsby! I'm about to start launching these things, dude. Each more ergonomically... Uh, while you do that, Harry, why don't you read the first ad? Oh, okay. We didn't know we had those still. <laughs> Let me see what we got here. I didn't even realize there's money oh, connected to this show. Yo, God damn. Ooh. Look, guys, let's talk about Raycon. <laughs> Raycon's everybody's earbuds. Raycon and Raycon's and everyday easy. earbuds look feel, look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they really stay in your ear. They become my go-to earbud. I wear Raycons while I'm exercising. You can fucking, you know, sometimes, Sass, you want to wear your fucking headphones in the gym, but then you go on that incline bench, lean back a little bit, headphones fall right out. Not Raycons. Not Raycons. Raycons. They plug the fuck in. 
and they're not going anywhere. You could be fucking in a refrigerator doing a, during a nuclear holocaust and the fucking blast wouldn't knock the Raycons out of your ear. Exactly. And that's fucking gospel. Raycons, they give you an eight hour they give you eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life, which is actually fantastic. That means that, Rome, where are you going next week? I'm going to Italy. So you could have a full charge, get on your plane, throw your Raycons in, your air, your air, your, your Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, I know what you're saying. Your Raycons won't be dead at all, ever. I'm struggling. Yeah, the Raycons will not have us locked out. And look, Ray. P- Ooh. What, dude? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Dude? Raycons are priced just right. <laughs> what were you trying That's to say? I was trying to say Raycon. Insane. Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon everyday earbuds are Siri and Alexa compatible. You can choose noise canceling or awareness mode, which I'm a big fan of. Go to buy rate. I'm gonna get these next two ads. All right, yeah, bang I'm this one out. I'm gonna get these next. Stomach. Two. All right, it's just stomach finish through. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Go to buy rate. Go to buyraycon.com/slash/boydad today to get 15 percent off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com/slash/boydad to get 15 percent off your order. It is the Thank longest you. battery of any he- headphones that I've ever used. You barely have to charge them. All right, let's talk great. shop. Yeah, I'm trying to talk shop, talk shop. I'm trying to talk shop, bro. Enough of the enough of the fucking, you know, politics. I'm so sick and fucking tired of the politics. I'm sick and tired of the goddamn politics. Let's talk shop. Let's talk guy shit. Wait, we can talk about the most dangerous game show when you said that quote. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, Herb Brooks? Yeah. I'm so sick and fucking tired of the politics. Well, he goes, I'm so I'm sick and tired of hearing about how good of a hockey team the Russians have. <laughs> Screw them. You should have said that quote. You should have hit him with some. Well, money I did ball. say that, but then I threw. I didn't. I replaced the Russians with Tommy Smokes. Yeah, uh, now I remember. But yeah, people dude. thought you wrote that speech for me. I know. Well, that I means it's gas. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, dude, people are like, the speech was really easy to write. I took like four quotes and put them on a piece of paper, and then I just like made shit up in between them. I think people were impressed, and they didn't realize it. They were impressed with your stage presence as you said it. They didn't well, realize you as fuck for that for some. You reason. had some really nice pacing. I mean, yeah, it was a big video, dude. It was to be seen by a lot of fucking people, and I was, it was, I was really nervous for that. And the money was on the line. I was also shit faced. <laughs> you were. I was obliterated. <laughs> were you actually? I drank like twenty drinks before that. Yeah, they were feeding you booze. But that was the time. Sassy on his. They needed sassy on his edge. That was before you found the Lord, though. But, I quit drinking. Yeah, you were still for real this time. You were still going to the bottle. I'm actually doing it this salvation. time. <laughs> Every week. No, but I went to the stand last night. I had one truly. Which is just like not drinking anything. It right is. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's called dedication, self-awareness, self-control. Yeah, when you can only have one. When everyone was like, come one. on, get another, get another. Who was saying that to you? Like Chappelle? I am my, the, the man in my head. <laughs> Chappelle and Italian. Get one more. You can have one more. And I was like, no. And then I live looked, a little sassy. And I looked at God and I said, these guys, <laughs> demons be gone. <laughs> you just put the staff down. Yeah. You should be one of those dudes that dresses like Jesus and like just hitchhikes from church to church. And it's like, excuse me, do you have any a meal? I got to start just carrying an acoustic guitar on my back at all times. <laughs> And grow out, grow out a beard, wear some thong sandals, and have an acoustic guitar. Also yeah, naked and naked all the time. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start practicing nudism. Nudism Here goes KB <laughs> running. Poor guy, dude. Poor guy, just always trying to uh, satisfy some earthly want, trying to work on his body, not knowing right. that he should be worried about the body of Christ instead. He should. Yeah, dude. He's fucking lost. You don't care about your body anymore. If it is God will, God's will for you to be jacked, then and I God's will be jacked. done. I would have been jacked. You would have already been jacked. Put me on this planet to be a frail, skinny <laughs> man with a big belly. A man who's only he enemy intended is on a me being gust of wind. Yeah, but that's where the belly comes in. It kind of anchors you against the gust of wind. Because God didn't have a belly, or Jesus didn't. Oh no, dude! Jesus had obliques like he usher. saw a man like me, and he said. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to grant him, I'm going to bless him with the warmth of a nice belly. So he, so he may not be cold for the wintry yes. months. Yes. 
because they didn't know that it was it was the fucking true path to be fat as fuck. And in Jesus's time, it was probably a compliment. He's still probably living off that fucking zero BC timetable when it was sweet to be fat. Yeah, Caesar was probably fat, dude. He was trying to bless you. Could have been. He was looking out for you as a fucking dog. He was. Fuck yes, bro. Is that bagel hitting you right now? Mine was actually really good. Was yours good? Yeah, it was fucking incredible. I'm going to start going there more. A little egg salad. At a reasonable price point, too? What was it, $6? Six bucks. Six dollars for lunch? I feel like I'm fucking robbing someone. I'm paying them. You can't get a $5 foot lunch. (laughs) Yeah. Paying me. They are. They're just jamming money into your mouth. What'd you get? Egg salad, though? Egg salad. I love egg salad. I don't know. That's kind of- makes egg salad like my mama. Yeah. Nobody make egg salad like mama do. (laughs) Southern sass. Yeah. Just getting ready for Atlanta. (laughs) Ma. Where the egg salad at? <laughs> now am I is it, I don't know if I'm doing southern there or what I'm doing. Doing whatever you're doing. Yeah, I liked it too. Mama, <laughs> that's Brandon. Yeah, I was gonna say it was racist, then I realized it was a Brandon impression. Was it racist? I thought I was just doing a white person. I don't think I am racist, bro. Please don't say. Please don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm racist, man. Please don't say that. Please. I don't think of myself that way. <laughs> you really, it, it, you, all you have is how you see yourself. Exactly. And, and how it, the Lord sees you, of course. And you, dude, you know what's crazy is everybody has a different version of you. You exist, you exist like in as many people as you know, as a whole different version of yourself. Or even crazier, in as many people as know you. And they all have a different version. Damn, bro. And some of those motherfuckers hate Spitting you. Spitting on us, bro. Dude. I can't think about that at all. No, I don't like that. <laughs> that everybody all. has a different version of you? That conversation <laughs> That's now? That's the worst. Oh, dude, consider Before it, we all bro. spiral out of control. Every single person has a different version. Like, this is my first version I'm making of this guy, and he's fucked, dude. He'll never make it out of it, dude. I just saw how he was walking, dude. I was like, he's oh. He's killing the game. He's a doofus. No, he's killing the game, bro. <laughs> no, he's never going to be anything except hey, for that version of him. He's spreading way too much hate for me right now. No, it's not hate, I looked dude. at him, and I saw a bundle of joy. <laughs> I saw an opportunity. Yeah? Yeah. I said, hey, brother, you still got time to fix this. <laughs> yeah. We need an extreme. I saw potential when I saw him. Oh, makeover. I'm a better man. That you're not fucking trapped to your stupid fucking walk. No. To your stupid gate. We'll fix that walk. That is actually the best thing about the walk, that you can always fix it, that you can always get a better fucking walk. First look, first look. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That was a bad whistle. <laughs> Actually, a really good whistler. That was a dude, by the way, that walked You should, by. You should go talk to yes. that girl and say, I think you could be one of Glennie's angels. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. As far as we know, Glennie could be God. <laughs> I mean, what if God was one of us type of shit? It would be Glennie. God, would, God is the least of us. Glennie has a group of angels that come in and bless him with their big breasts. Every week. A big breasted presence. Say, hey, Glenny, take a look at these breasts. And he asked them questions. What like, do you think about these? Hey, when was the last time you put a popsicle in your pussy? Yeah. Hey, you know, I was thinking a hot dog could be fun. <laughs> a I hot dog in your ass. ass. Hey, how would we get a hot dog in your ass and a, and a toothbrush in your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> and he always brings it back to food, dude. And, he then always like, is- and then it gets like 20 million views on Instagram. Yeah. And they like think it's hilarious. They're like, that's incredible. Will you yeah, fuck me? He sends it to us and he's like, this is what you should be doing. Yeah. You, know that, uh, you know that face he used to make when he took the first sip of beer? Me? Glenny. No. I think he makes that when he, when he takes the first lick of a first pussy. Lick. It's like a vinegar, <laughs> vinegar stroke. You don't just like shredded Glenny lettuce. Had Glenny <laughs> never had beer before? Uh, no, it was just. You never it watched like Burgers, bro? Burgers was that he always his Oh, first, oh, yeah. okay. I never did the deep dive. I got to catch up on those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there's probably I over. Heard Netflix over, bought it. <laughs> yeah, they well they did, but then there were like some episodes where they're like, you can't play this. So he so bought, he it, bought back. it back. Yeah, yeah, he yeah bought yeah. it back from them, and he's now putting it's on it out. Review on GlennyBalls.com, and they're bringing it back up. They're letting him slash jokes <laughs> <laughs> slash funny. Because on the other ones, this shit is not funny and it's not a joke at all. No. He's into some dark shit sexually that I cannot fucking say. You touched on something brilliant, though. I like when people put comedy in their email. Oh, yeah. A lot of people, like a lot of comedians, their Instagram will just be like comedy Roan. <laughs> funny Roan. Musicians, too. Roan music one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, damn, Roan music. Own bars. Roan's got bars. Yeah. Extra bars. Gmail.com. 
Little sass comedy. Little sass, very funny comedian yeah. at Hotmail. Crowd work sass. <laughs> Dude, you are a goat at crowd work. When are you putting out your crowd work album? Soon. We're yeah. actually recording that. Exclusively uh, crowd work. Yeah. You'll never have to write a joke again. No, no. Just you absolutely fucking destroying the poor bastards in the splash zone. Yeah. Crowd work is, uh, I do not do crowd work. It's not really my thing. Mm. I stick to the script. Calm, that's it. If, if we're sucking off Calm, dude, he had that other tweet where he's like, dude, no one thinks anything's as funny as like tw- 20 year old comedians doing crowd work. Oh, yeah. Cause, and everyone thought that was about me. Yeah. I don't do crowd work. And also, that's about, he was referencing the people that post like 700. I mean, All some your- people are good at crowd work and they post crowd work clips and they're really funny. But then other people, it'll just be like the dumbest, it'll just be like nothing happened. But it'll have... It'll just clip things just to keep on... Especially on yeah. TikTok, too. I think they don't want to waste their jokes, so they just try and get one shitty crowd work clip in yeah. the night. Also, yeah. there's a difference between, like, being able to, like... I mean, obviously, like, something could be funny if you're at the show, but, like, that's probably not going to play that well online if you're, like, referencing someone you can't even see in the video and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like they probably have a good point. Yeah. You do actually suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff with the SEALs. What? Uh, the Navy SEALs both shows in Providence. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of Navy boys. I was Wait, what? Flaming their asses. Yeah. You were? Na- there was a lot of kids in the Navy at my shows. Bro, they whip your ass, bro. What do you have against the Navy? They were awesome. Yeah? No, I wasn't anything against them. You said you were flaming them. No, I was kidding. It was a good crowd. What's the saying? Flaming. I'm a, I'm a, I, I do jokes, bro. Yeah, what were they? Laughs. What were they? It's not like you'll ever have Navy sorry, guys again. Are you in the Navy or some shit? I fucking respect them. <laughs> my aunt bad. got divorced from a guy who's in the Navy, dude. Yeah? Damn. Damn. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to touch close. So, to dude. yeah. It was fucking important to me. There actually was really one really weird encounter that I had where I was like, talking about something with like dads and I like asked some kid like something about his dad and he was like he like didn't really answer it and then all of his friends were like no no dude tell him tell him like patting him on the back and he was like my dad left when I was a kid and I was like oh okay. <laughs> like what am I supposed to I was like why were your friends well what, what did they think I was gonna say this will be good yeah watch what he does with this he's they a fucking like- magician <laughs> Dude, they were, shit I've ever heard in my life. were literally like, dude, you got to tell him. You gotta, and he, the kid was like clearly like not wanting to tell me. And then he was just like, oh, my dad left when I was a kid. My dad actually got his head exploded yeah, in front like, of me. All right. Well, I was like, we'll move on from that. Do you remember Jared Fogel? <laughs> yeah. It was really uncomfortable. It's pops. I, I live next to a subway now. So <laughs> tell him, weird. tell him. But uh, those boys were awesome. Actually, there's two. There was a group of Navy kids at the first show and a group of Navy kids at the second show, and they were all awesome. Like we like to talk. Actually, we went and played pool with them at the at the end of the second show. It's because fuck you. Sigmas attract sigmas, and they are just they they could tell by how you talk that you speak their language. Yeah, guys who are on sports teams, firefighters, and fucking Navy dudes are your your core audience. Yeah. What what was up with this shit that you're trying to throw me into the fantasy shit? I'm getting, I'm trying to watch this movie last night. I'm getting one text every 30 seconds about the Eagles. Yeah, they got it. They did. No, I don't I don't know if the Eagles are going to take it home this year. It's like, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Some dudes I know from college and I was going to say they're not mics, but there's like 10 dudes in the group and two of them actually are named mics, but they're they're two different mics from And they keep kicking me out. Even though I've I've texted it once and I just keep on getting kicked out and then added back in. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm like it's I don't degrading. It's very weird. Well, say well, do you remember what the last text was before you got kicked out? They kicked you out to protect you. No, I don't. <laughs> it was pictures of a woman breastfeeding. Oh no, I saw that though. Yeah, and then they, they're like, they were like, Jesus it Christ, on, it was already on my phone. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. got that. And, and then, then they then, just kicked me out again today. They kicked you out again. Yeah. Why? Because you weren't answering. Probably you got to say something to be in the group. Mm-hmm. But they were trying to protect you from the breastfeeding shots, dude. They didn't want you to see these these random girls posting breastfeeding on their Instagram. I was having a fun time. I was reading all the texts. I just wasn't replying. I know they're, they are funny as fuck, yeah. but, but they were like, uh, <laughs> they were laughing about it. They're like, yeah, we invited him into our fantasy football group. They're like, we want to have you in our league. And then they just showed you pictures of breastfeeding and kicked you out of the group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be in the league, but why not? You said you would for a second. I did say I would, but I'm not going to, I don't know. Why not? I, Let's just be on the, we'll, uh, we'll like host the team together or whatever. And then you'll yeah. have something to talk about during football season. Yeah. And you can cover it financially since you're doing this whole God shit now and you don't care about money. Uh, mm-hmm. What's the buy-in? I think it's like $1,000. Oh, I'll do that. Actually? Yeah, sure. You will? Yeah, but I got to get, what is the, if I cover the whole thing, how much do you, how much do I make? 
and then you would get 25% and I get 75%. No, 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 no. Right. I think that's that would be, I would cut. get 75 and you would get 25. I'd be doing the work. But I'd be paying. <sighs> no, it's like backing someone. It's like the World Series of Poker. No, I don't play by that. Those dumb rules. If I'm giving you all the money because you clearly can't afford it, then why would you? Why would I get 25 percent of the win? Because I'm going to be doing the work the whole season for the fantasies. Oh, we'll do 50 50 split. All right, fine. You back. You put in 100. I'm not paying a thousand. You can tell them that. Them I could do. I could swing a hundred, maybe. <laughs> Just drop a zero and I'm good. We'll put it on team a payment with, plan. Team up with Jordan Woodruff. Well, how how much is she making? She's making a lot of money. Apparently, you guys hear this. Twenty-five thousand dollars, something in like a day that. or something like that. Yeah, in a day, or maybe we should we not tell people. I don't know. I heard it from like somebody that's is making its way around, so we might as well just bring. Uh, it's so funny how it's like, a copycat league though already people have made them and are is, making them. It is hilarious in the office. It's so funny, dude. People, this is actually, and I'm not even joking at all. Like the one thing that has helped my like mental health so much since whenever I had my collapse and I went to Denver is like stopped caring about how much other people make. Because that shit was literally destroying. And that's like everyone here. They're like, you're fucking, you're Jordan's making 25,000. You fucking hear that shit, dude? 25,000. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, dude, I don't care. Like, good for her. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What am I going to do? Go yeah, get We like don't Jordan have the tips. Like, give me, I should be getting some of that. I should be getting 25,000. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, I've been here longer. Yeah, that's not fair. We're, we we to actually tell jokes, all right? Yeah. You just I'm I'm busting my ass <laughs> an hour a week. I should be getting that. <laughs> and that's like everyone here. If people are so a lot of pocket watching going on here and just yeah. whining. Yeah. Yeah. Shut so up, dude. That actually has been a good thing. I don't really I I don't give a fuck who's making how much. How did you get to that point though? Because you're I got denied my raise and then I was like, oh, okay. You're also that was just, like your was whole personality like, got, for a few years. Oh, that's all I would think about ever was like, dude, did you And hear since it? then you haven't it's always like, just cared lies about it once. too. It's always like lies. Oh, did you hear Big Ev's making six mil a year? Always shit like that. Then you're like, damn, what? <laughs> and it's like always like, yeah, well, uh, this guy who was on the jet with Dave six years ago told this guy that this person has equity in the company. And you're like, what? <laughs> Why don't I have equity? And you haven't cared about that shit. Even like after the case race, you didn't care about that or anything. Oh, no, I did care about it then, but that was because I was belligerently drunk. Yeah, and that's when the old you came the out. The old me came back. That's when uh, I had to go home and pray the demons out. Yeah, that honestly was scary that I was like, fuck, Sass is showing his dark yeah, side. Yeah, that was a bad... I, I, no, Sass! I have, like, repressed memories from that that come back and just destroy me for, like, 10 minutes. Yeah, it's crazy how repressed memories can just throw you into a cycle of... Literally just come back out of nowhere, and I'm like, oh, did I say that? <laughs> after the case race it's all about the case race too that's all I that's the that. only time you've had regret and then I'm like Ugh, and I then introduce I, you to regret you know liquor is Latin for Lucifer <laughs> it's not surprising I look up and I thank God for the day oh <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that was you sound like that 300 right there or is escaping. oh oh they were escaping is that the dog <laughs> yeah that was the dog in me. Sounds like you need to manscape your throat right now, bro. You need to fucking clear that shit up. Let's uh, talk manscaped. If you haven't already heard, it's a smooth sack summer. When you're playing in the yeah, Is that what they're calling it? That's funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make sure that you're escaped Silky. from the pubes to bum. That's right. That's funny. This summer... To keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. That, this has to be the best copywriting job in the business. You just make nut and butt jokes all day, yeah. and it's like, this is silky nuts. Yeah. This is the summer of crisp cock. <laughs> they definitely just hired Tucker Max to come in and fuck a copyright. Who's for Tucker Max? He's this Arthur. He's this author who used to talk about like stories of girls like shitting themselves. Oh, yeah. I think like I've that. heard that name before. That's why I was wondering. Maybe I think... Uh, He'd reference him a lot. Mm -hmm. He's definitely an early inspiration of KB's. He's a yeah. raucous writing style. Probably Francis's too. Of... Should we should we make the Francis announcement or what? Should we wait for another oh. another? We shouldn't make that announcement yet. All right, we'll wait for someone. I think else you to should write in, write in this yeah. manscape, Dad. 
Yeah. Very. <laughs> Get Manscaped, the performance package 4.0. It has everything you need to do to keep up with your summer job. It looks like he's coming back. The Lawnmower 4.0, <laughs> all new skin safe electric trimmer and weed whacker ear nose and hair trimmer in fact i've heard like some contract details have been agreed upon the crop preserver anti-chafing ball deodorant and crop preserver hair ball spray toner and i think when does it start it's like next like mid next month or something like that magic ma- magic mat disposable shaving mats which you always need if your ball hair is like mm-hmm. getting on the floor because like honestly the shape of a toilet isn't it isn't shaped for ball hair to just fall directly into it you can't aim your ball hair trimmings like you can with um francis's contract yeah exactly which was really just really streamlined like a nice a nice contract. Get 20% off and free shipping. And use code SUN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code SUN at manscaped.com. We should do a Francis contract review episode. <laughs> when? I don't know. Right now? Wait, can we post both salaries blind and say, guess who's who? <laughs> <laughs> like two <laughs> NBA player stats? Player A or B. Yeah. <laughs> Every part of the stats, who showed up, sold out, what shows in Providence. Yeah. You just touch your shoulder, Blaze. Providence was fun, dude. It's a shithole of a city, though. Come on, dude. It I don't is. think you mean that. Oh, dude, St. Louis is a nice. You definitely didn't Providence. go to the David Busters there. a lot. All right. By so I looked up Comedy Connection, I think, is in East Providence, right? Not yeah, downtown. Yeah, it's in East Providence. Oh, and went to. So you're, you were kind of in the sticks, but yeah, it's charming. Dude, I stayed I at the say. Hilton. Such a shitty. I mean, obviously the Hilton sucks, but it was like, dude, this hotel was so shitty. I go into my room, and I, I it literally it smelled like some. It smelled like someone died in the room, and then they sprayed like an overwhelming amount of this like lemon chemically spray to like cover up the smell. The death. Wait, did it smell worse than that death in uh in L.A. in that parking lot? No, no, God, no. Yeah, that was actually. No, this death. wasn't. This wasn't like it didn't. It, it, Wait, do you it, think you guys smelt a real body? Oh, 100 percent. Definitely. Yeah, we were talking to some guy after. He's like, "Oh no, you don't want to be down here if the, after the sun goes down." Oh, <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> it was literally a dead body. It was. Uh, it was the strongest smell that I'd. I think that I'd ever smelled in my life. It was, it was just pervasive, shocking, and, and the best tacos that I'd ever had in my life. About two steps from there. Yeah, I didn't oh. think those tacos were that great. They were way too spicy, dude. Those were the spicy ones. I love the spice. You didn't get a spicy one. That's why I had three tacos there mm-hmm. and the quesadillas. I definitely got. The I fucking hate the guy who thinks the other person didn't get the spicy one. That's what was that? Because Tommy was, cried. No, mine was like, spicier. Because, because no, but it's, that's in, Tommy, exactly in, that human. In my defense, so we all had like so we all got three. Yeah, and me, Tommy, and Roan all ate one. Tommy was like freaking the fuck out, and like, mine was on just the ground. not spicy at all. So I was like, there was like a little. It was like peppers, like, like okay. not spicy. I was like, Tommy, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I was like. Are you like kidding? Like it was like that was literally not spicy. And then I got another one, and then you saw one, both sides of the that car. one just beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> like I was like, I, dude, I was out of breath because I was like, I was it was so hot. Damn. It was like habanero. Yeah, it was delicious. I thought it was incredible. It was, it was too. Called, that one was way too spicy for me. I didn't like uh, it. Tire stand taqueria, tire something. Yeah, yeah. Watch the neighborhood each when it comes out. But mm-hmm. It was cracked. But there was also definitely a dead body in that exact yeah, dead body. Maybe like a. Maybe a dead animal, but I don't, I can't really it differentiate. Had to, it would have had death. to be like a dead bear or something. And it had to, it had to be like a big dead animal. Like a month old dead yeah, bear. Yeah. Food smell did mask it incredibly well though. Like as soon as you. Oh yeah. It's probably it, a cilantro. The body. Yeah. Just a little bit of cilantro. will just do that. It'll make it way fucking smoother. That was fun though. LA was a good time. Um, ate a lot of, that was by far my favorite one we've done in terms of food. Did you go to the, uh, did you go to the Dave and Buster's in Providence or no? No, we went to this I place called to, like dude, what? And what about the mall overlooking the river? No, dude, we the didn't have theater. that much time. Also, I I sent Terry a nice like uh, like anybody any do media do anything in Providence. Yeah, yeah. Why not reply? No. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I'm so bad with it. I just see a text. You message just found your own coke or what? Reply, and then I did. <laughs> I don't reply. I heard the coke in Providence. I hung out with your buddy, uh, your buddy Mullen's cousin. Really? He was out there. Huh. He's got a drug problem. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I literally didn't even talk to him. I saw him once and we were outside. What type of drugs? H. Really? <laughs> we were outside shooting. To the, is it's that? so funny though because like Providence is like what? It's like maybe it's like not a great city, but it's not like 
like I like walked to the store by myself mm-hmm. and ever I came back and everyone was like, dude, you can't just do that here. <laughs> that, yeah, that's I'm not like, true. Like, it, like, you're a not, six not foot to be like, white, like, yeah, not to male, be like, like a cocky asshole but it's like we live in new york yeah like, i think i can handle walking across the street to a gas station by myself yeah i feel like people it is a lot of people like to d- up play where they live and make it seem like oh this is like the most dangerous place a hundred percent i think it is like eighth and murders but um people also like to do that when they come to new york it, like i all the, all my friends that came here over the summer they're all like oh they always like tell these stories about like seeing homeless people and they make it seem like which i'm sure i did this too but they make it it's like the stories that they explain are just like normal day-to-day interactions yeah you like everyone has yeah yeah bro this homeless guy was yelling at me it's like yeah they do that you'll they do that every single day that will never end it's their job yeah they get paid hands people humble Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah what the fuck is che doing he just keeps on walking by saluting us all these people that are on the surviving barstool think that they're fucking hot shit oh yeah i have noticed a pep in all of their steps why do they all have this fucking cocky pep in their are they all fucking each other or what i have almost like when they got on the show it's like everybody in the office is now working for them but maybe we'll see yeah it kind of is i mean like i can't even sit at my desk because that's where the whole thing is really yeah damn dude so we have to update the log for that active shooter that's planning to come in that we we told them exactly where your desk was earlier I don't want to be a part of that. Um, Where has Frank the Tank been sitting? Did you see his buzz cut video? <laughs> yeah, I did. He really goes at it. That's what a lot of people do, though. When you get when you when you become like a regular buzz guy, they just start or like a bald dude. They aggressively shave their heads. Like they don't have the time of day to take time with it. <laughs> have you ever seen the videos of the dudes? They just smack the shaving cream on their head, and then they're just like <sighs> with like a real razor, yeah. and you can hear it. That. It's like an ASMR thing. It's it's awesome. Oh, but I interrupted you, my brother. What were you about to say, my brother? Oh, uh, I was just going to say Providence is also very different uh, summer versus school year because there's like a dozen colleges, I think. Yeah. So it's a much different city. So it was like better no during the school year. There was like no I'm one. I'm more insulated for white folk like Harry. There's uh, more people like you, but uh, I liked it both times a year. I'm I lived a year around. man. I'm a, you know, been around the world twice. Talked to everyone once. Yeah. Frogman. <laughs> yeah. You're a diverse man. You ain't diverse, dude. You don't know shit about shit. You're neurodiverse. You're neurodivergent. <laughs> you don't know shit about dick, bro. Yeah, I fucking do, dude. I watched this movie last night. Talk to me. Walk the line. Johnny Cash. I, I'm Johnny Cash. It was so fucking good. Got me so fired up. What did he do more of? It. Drugs or cheating on his woman? Yeah, he only cheated on his woman once with Jude Carter Cash. No way. Spoiler alert. So he fucking fucking married a new bitch? Yeah. So how do you know he only cheated once? That sounds like he definitely cheated more than that. Oh, this is the first time that they showed in the movie, bro. Yeah. Can't be talking shit about the movie when you've never seen it. I probably have seen it. It just probably wasn't good enough to leave a mark on me. It was fantastic. Joaquin Phoenix. You don't like Joaquin Phoenix? No, I fuck with Joaquin Phoenix. The best actor ever. He's a good actor. He's so fucking good. I don't like when people, you could just be like brooding and like fucking mean and people are like, oh, that's fucking great acting. I guess I'm, I'm hating. I'm not like He's you. an amazing actor. God. He learned how to play all the, he, he, they played the instruments from scratch. Him and Reese Witherspoon. Oh, they really? They learned how to play them and they sang the songs. They weren't even dubbed over. That's pretty impressive. I Googled it. They weren't dubbed over. So he sang them. And he's got a damn good Johnny Cash voice, which also, so I side with you a little bit. Doing a Johnny Cash impression, impression not that easiest crazy. one. It's not like you have to have Reese Witherspoon has like a legitimately good voice. Yeah, yeah, the voice of a god, one might say. It is infuriating that a lot of these like Hollywood actresses just have like uh, they'll, yeah. they'll just be able to like pop out like an album quality singing voice. Just like why? Well, why are you talented? Had like the best singing coaches in the world. Yeah. And they're probably like music theater trained and shit yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. which is absolutely That was a good movie. That was a, that was a, I don't know if I would call it a feel good movie, but it had me feeling good. I had a smile on my face while I was watching that. Really? Full smile. Hell yes. I just loved, I love Johnny Cash. He, it, it, he's, he's uh, like a manly dude, but is he a dark character or what? Oh, big time. Drug yeah. addict, alcoholic. What type of drugs? Bills. It's barely even drugs though, honestly. Oh, he was big time addicted to him. Went crazy. If a scientist is making something, I don't really consider it a drug. That's smart. You know what That's I mean? Good philosophy mm-hmm. to live by. 
Yeah, that's Ended just up how, in a fucking ditch. That's just how the fuck I feel. I I saw a uh, nope that uh, the Jordan Peele movie. Well, I heard it sucks. Logan Doesn't, Paul told me that. Who? Logan Paul. <laughs> Oh, I forgot that he said that. Actually, I should have read those tweets before I saw it because I probably would have hated it. I would have been like, fuck yeah, Logan's right. Dude, Logan's the chill Paul brother. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Yeah. No, wait, was it good? Yeah, it was fucking awesome. Gary? A uh, little spooky? A little. Yeah. Yeah. You were a little spooked, weren't you? Yeah. You're a grown man. Yeah. That's yeah. gay. <laughs> yeah. As a grown man, you should never be scared. Johnny Cash taught me that. I found out yesterday that I was gay. Yeah, when you little, watched Nope. A little bit of pee came out of my dick when a fucking climactic thing happened during Nope. Damn, I gotta see it now. But they, there were subtitles in the movie, and it fucking threw me off. Oh, yeah, I saw you tweet about that. How is that? I've never seen a movie. Oh, it's actually really weird, because I was actually thinking, I wish movie theaters would do subtitles. Is that crazy? It was like a big movie, like a big movie theater. It wasn't like some art house bullshit, like fucking... Bending the knee to the hearing impaired, dude. This was a massive chain theater, and there. What were, just, what were the reasons for the for the subtitles? No one else batted an eye, dude. I was about to fucking. At first, I was like in the back of my mind, I was like, I need to ask someone to turn these off. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the biggest <laughs> asshole move. Yo, can we get these off? Like not even Maybe people, dude. I mean, if you think about it, I feel like a majority of people nowadays they watch movies with subtitles on. Do you guys? Not me, Jack. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of people who... Anything serious. Yeah, I know a lot of people who, like, they strictly do. Like, they won't even... They get pissed if the subtitles aren't on already. What's their reasoning, Owen? I just have a shitty attention span, probably. I like to, like, try and read some of the shit as it's going. I don't know. Yeah? Is it, like, hard to understand? It started with, it started with Game of Thrones, because I watched all, like, seven or eight seasons of Game of Thrones in two weeks to catch up for the finale, and I did that with subtitles, and I found it helpful. To kind yeah, of, I, I I used to hate it, and now I watch everything with subtitles. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't care for it. I don't care for it at all. It kind of distracts my brain a little I bit. I thought it was distracting, too. I mean, it depends on what the subtitles look like, too. Like, the Netflix subtitles are the best ones by a mile. Just those white white ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's got the black border. Yeah, nothing on YouTube. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, just the white. Where it's it got to be the crisp white letters. Very crisp white, but I still, I just... Uh, a little bit of a shadow. A little bit of a shadow. Ooh, drop. A little bit of a shadow. One thing I did think it's it was playful. helpful for when, like, there was, like, music playing and they would say, like, the lyrics of the song because that was probably, I guess, intentional by the director. Yeah. It's almost like watching a director's cut of it or it's like watching, like, the, the scripted cut, like, reading the script along with it. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, but, like, I had it on for, like, the rehearsal for Nathan... Fielder show and like that, it like gave away kind of like jokes. I, I hate when off. they do that. I hate like, when that happens. Like before I could even tell it was going to be like Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka's song, it like tells me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. It, that has happened to me. It ruins like punchlines. So you guys are on my side now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The debate master. The Lincoln Douglas <laughs> debate master. Yeah, let's do some again. more debates on this show. I fucking swayed you. Challenging someone to a debate is funny as fuck, dude. I feel like like sports writers like to do that. Like pol politic like fucking Jay would talking do that. heads. I feel like Che would definitely challenge someone challenge to Challenge me to the debate me then. Yeah, let's debate. <laughs> because that way neither person wins and the fans of the person just agree with the person they were already fans of. Yeah, it's true. I also don't have like well thought out enough opinions on anything to debate, debate someone. now. Like, oh yeah, that is actually a fucking good point. I feel like just debating is just listing so many things so the other person just can't. Like, it's all about just like back. holding your composure and, and being loud at the same time. Yeah. It's more about just convincing people you know what you're talking about. I would just try to so talk too fast. Somebody say uh, Tommy was like hypnotizing the girls on Most Dangerous with the word competitor. Was he? <laughs> he just kept saying it. Really? <laughs> Dude, people gave Tommy a lot. Or, or, too much know. credit? A little bit. That's fine. I won't, this isn't hate. This is within the realm of the show. You're not hating on him. I guess we already talked about this, though. We didn't. Oh, I forgot Boy Dad came out before the finale. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like people like Tommy. Tommy got played a little bit as he, he. They considered him to be a little more of a mastermind than I thought. Yeah, I think everyone else was just being really stupid. Yeah, not including myself, who voted for Tommy and gave him the win. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. Like everyone was like, "Oh, dude, like Tommy, blah blah blah." Like they, they like, 
as soon as Tommy came up to me, I said this in the after show, as soon as he came up to me, I was like, dude, don't fucking talk to me because I know Tommy, I'm friends with Tommy. Like if he comes up to me trying to be all serious, like I know it's going to be like something that he's lying. Yeah. Or like after the show, like he'd just be like, dude, like I did pretty good. Like he'll just yeah, like, yeah, and, like yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. giggle and laugh and like, <laughs> I guess I won again. But uh, yeah, super happy for him. I was happy for him too. Yeah, same. I'm fucking my super goat. charged up. Yeah, that's my twin. Great. Yeah, that really is, dude. Shout out to your fucking twin and them. It's my twin. Yeah, dude. T- Tommy's funny. I love I love seeing funny people, or I love realizing that funny people are funny. Yeah, Tommy's been killing the game. I feel like that's like a, a gift when you can see the funny side of someone, when you can sense humor in someone. He's been slaying. <laughs> yeah. It'll come crashing down, though. I was talking with Frankie Borelli about this Sooner recently. Or later. Yeah, that he's actually... cut you down. He's actually a big... He's already like a big cocksucker. Tommy? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's got a mile of cock in his mouth at all times. No, no, no. <laughs> like fruit by the foot, like a magician with a ribbon, dude, and he could just pull out the cock. Yeah, dude, he has the, the most. And uh, I think that's, bro, I think that's your insecurities. What are you talking about? I think that's your insecurities weighing mm-hmm. down on yourself. No, dude, I put him under the What's fucking cock you got wing? in your mouth. What? What cock you got in your mouth? Be honest. I have fucking, I got a- Be real with me for I one I got a minute. 10K of cock, dude. I got 3.1 miles of cock in my mouth. <laughs> It takes a cocksucker to know a cocksucker, bro, and I can fucking sniff him out a mile away. Damn straight. I got cock in my mouth, brother. I ain't never sucked a cock in my whole goddamn life. You never seen you it. Let it a sit cock. there. You yeah. <laughs> no, no, so no, no, no. You didn't. You just parked it there. You just let it rest on your tongue like a, a breath mint. <laughs> it's like a little tic tac. Enough, bro. Yes, dude. You did, dude. Just come clean, bro. <laughs> Say that you let a cock rest like a Tic Tac. Speaking of that, let's talk about calm. No, bro, not yet. Why? Because they, they're they not going to want to be next to you talking about Tic Tacs and cocks. Just say that shit first, and then we'll fucking talk about Bro, uh, <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. Oh. You got me fucked up right now, bro. Dude, you're a really good actor, bro. Thank you. Holy fuck, dude. That transported me to the fucking moment right there. You're living realistically in imaginary circumstances, which I believe is the definition of acting. It is. What else, what else is there to talk about, bro? What else happened this week? Uh, Bernie sat on the fucking steps of the fucking Capitol. what did he do there? I don't know. Shitting. <laughs> yeah, he took a big fucking shit on the Senate floor. He marched in and said he was tired of this shit and then symbolically took a fucking sleepy ass poop on the floor. Mm-hmm. And then Kamala Harris, she didn't suck the poop, but she sort of just let it sit on let her it tongue. Sit on her tongue. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about calm. Perfect. <laughs> That's what they're going to want to hear. It says right here, link it to something political. Let's link talk it to about some juicy calm. Shit. Calm. We're Look, partner. guys, big news. Oh, I'm going to take the I'm going to take the reins on this one, I think. Are you sure because the first one you kind of uh I think I'm going to take the reins. And this is a good-ass deal. Keep in mind, this is the best deal. Probably one of our best deals. We're partnering with Calm, okay? The number one mental wellness app to give you tools that improve the way you feel. Reduce stress and anxiety through guided meditations, improve focus with curated music tracks, and rest and recharge with Calm's imaginative sleep stories for children and adults. There's even new daily movement sessions. Designed to relax your body and uplift your mind. If you go to calm.com slash boy dad, you get a special offer of 40% off of calm prescribing inscriptions. You'll get a special offer of 40% off of a calm, off a calm premium prescript. You got pr- to practice the reins. reading a little Hit bit. The reins. Dude, I literally have the Calm app up right now and I'm just playing. Okay, but this is a big deal, bro. They're getting 40% off. That's huge. It's massive. That is a crazy this deal. This is a huge deal and this is the best. I could have used that deal before deal. I just bought it myself. That is yeah. a fucking sweet ass deal. So for listeners of the show, Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off. A Calm premium subscription. Dude, I like to fuck with... Calm.com slash boy dad. Go to C-A-L-M dot com slash dad. It's dad. That's the code. The code is dad. D-A-D. So head on over to C-A-L-M dot com slash dad. 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 (laughs) For 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library, that's calm.com slash dad. You're saying that in the least calming way ever, bro. 
You better say that more fucking calmly. Yeah, and hopefully that'll make people a little anxious, and now they'll have to go. That was supposed to be the Manscaped's (laughs) character. (laughs) What? You did the Manscaped's character for calm. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Dude, I like to hit the daily calm. It's like 11 minutes. It's like a quick meditation they have up every day. I do them all the time. My girl, Tamara Levitt. Your girl? That's who that fucking girl is, Tamara Levitt. This fucking guy. <laughs> Don't try and fucking play me, bro. Don't try Talking and about fucking women play me. Property. Don't try and My fucking girl. play me. My home girl. My fucking girl. I don't fucking you're think a, so. You're dude. a real piece of shit. Don't try and fucking play me, dude. You're a I, real piece of work. Bro, I know you took a hey, vow hey. of poverty. You yeah. didn't take a vow of chastity, though. I know you've been fucking. I've seen how you fucking act around these women. Come on, bro. come on. You're an absolute I'm busting your chops. Oh, very fucking funny. I'm busting your chops. You horny bastard. No, 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 no. Yeah, it doesn't feel so good, does it? And I... We got a pileup of high heels in our in our vestibule. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's from Harry. Literally, it, no. His ceiling is just when I, when I took a vow. When I took a vow to God, I said, no more snacks for me <laughs> forever. He's got a shoebox full of fucking loose earrings, single <laughs> earrings that he's fished out of his fucking oh, mattress. Doing too much. Yeah. How's it feel, bro? He's yeah. got no sweatshirts left, but a tons of tops I'll pray for sheen. You. Yeah. I'll pray for you. He's got the full sheen... Summer fall catalog. I'll pray for you guys. He's got all the new sheets. Sit. He's got all the Aritzia fucking lining. That's why they come to fuck him at this point. They're just shopping from. His yeah, bedroom. they just swap. Bro. Is it Buffalo Exchange or is it Harry's room? <laughs> I got this from Harry. Is it L Train Vintage uh, or is it just yeah. Harry's room? But seriously, all doing way too much. But seriously, you get a few nice vintage pieces and Harry's cock in your ass. <laughs> I wish I had more vintage pieces, dude. I, I I need more like I need more clothes. I'm saying. Well, dude, I mean, the son of the boy dad shit is wearable literally this every single day. Great. And I'm actually glad I got a new one of these because the XL was too big for me. I couldn't wear it. Yeah, the larges are it. I mean, I'm about to be rocking this shit on the daily. If it's Damn. not on sale currently, we have a sale on it coming. Yes, this shit is. I mean, back to school, like you should be getting this shit. Back to school shit's gonna be gonna be heat. For all of our <laughs> high school fans. And honestly, you need to fucking get this. All of our high schooler fans out there, we got some dope shit coming. And when do we come to your homecoming? Yeah. yeah. We got lunch boxes. We got... Uh, We're dropping we it early Harvest for the middle. Box. Box. Pencil boxes coming out for you guys. Backpacks. For the middle schools in the South that go back before Labor Day, we're dropping it like August 25th. Yeah, we're dropping yeah. bulletproof backpacks. We got Kevlar coming in. <laughs> <laughs> For all of our middle school fans out there. But also armor-piercing boy shields. dad bullets. We got so shields coming out. We want to play to both sides. It's a backpack that doubles down as a shield. <laughs> <laughs> but also the, the boy dad AR-15. new merch, but like some solo shit. Okay, that'd be dope. Oh, okay, yeah. It'd be called sure. just like Young and Crazy. Something like that. Kind of like Roan's podcast, Young and Happy. Yeah, a little bit. That's, great. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually dope, dude. I like that fucking com- I got some new shit words. I'm working on. It's um, one of them is just, don't fuck with me, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a big t-shirt. I'm going to do that on a flag, too. There's a, there's a t-shirt shop out here that sells. I like, know. I was going to buy it. That's I see why. it every day, dude. One that says, uh, fuck you, you fucking fuck. And then fuck. the other one that says, do I look like a fucking people person? <laughs> yeah. I was going to buy that yesterday. Like Michael Rappaport ass shirts. Mm-hmm. Michael Rappaport has like, uh, to his credit, has found a way to just have like a fourth act in life of just uh, reposting viral videos as if they happened to him. Yeah. Have you noticed he does yeah, that? Yeah. He'll just like post like a fucking turbulence video. Yeah, it's hilarious. like barely a joke, and it will be like, "What the fuck is this turbulence?" Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, it's this current stage of the internet, bro. Yeah, I wonder what the fucking next internet is going to be like. The fucking Lord next knows. stage is going to be fucking AI influencers doing OnlyFans. It's just going to be fucking bots paying AI influencers, so no humans are going to be involved. Just like bots giving money to other bots, bro. Save or did that shit. just save get to Westworld? Save this shit for Rogan. <laughs> or did I just blow your fucking mind with my theories, dude? Yeah, do you guys want to drop the Rogan news? Yeah. So we're doing Rogan uh, next month. Francis is having us on Rogan. Yeah. As a little thank you for opening the door to the... Calling ourselves. What was it? Back nine of his career. What does like Shane and all them call themselves? What's their little group name? It's like Protect the Parks protect or something Protect the Parks, like that. yeah. We're calling ourselves Protect the Pussy. <laughs> Because sass has been fucking so goddamn much, dude. 
He's got a whole fucking Zara wardrobe fucking wedged in between his fucking bed frame. <laughs> this is all because I said that I called the, the meditation girl your girl. <laughs> yeah, bro. That <laughs> shit got you fired up. I fucking <laughs> strike like lightning <laughs> at the at this most the slightest perceived insult. I know. I overreact because I'm insecure. What of it, brother? I got a I got a long week coming up. Yeah. Yep. I'm I'm ready to uh, retire. I think. Yeah, it's just too hot for you. You're like an old man. You're going to be like one of the nursing home attendants that dies during a heat wave. <laughs> You're just too weak for fucking planet Earth. I'm just, I, I don't know, dude. It, it, last week took a lot out of me and I still haven't recovered from it. What What about last week? It's like Saint going from St. Louis to LA to back to New York and then going straight to Providence. I don't really understand when people say that like plane rides take a lot of out because of you're sitting because you you literally have your own room on the plane. I had one. I have had one first class ticket in like the last fucking How whatever hundred fifty thousand Delta points that I've put up, dude. I fucking get no brekkie muffins. Dude. <laughs> what do you think? We we're supposed to know how much that how many flights that equals to? You know it's platinum stack. <laughs> yeah, I know because you were like showing it off in the car. You're like, it was a big moment for it's me. Like, check this out, platinum. It just had happened, bro. I'm a, I'm a step away from diamond. Once what happens diamond? if you get to Diamond? They let you fly the plane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is the, like what? You just get to spend these on flights? No, that you get to pick what flights get delayed and what, what flights go on time. <laughs> oh my God. That would be <laughs> hilarious. What flights go down? Yeah. Who you, who you don't want to fly? What flights hit turbulence? What flights don't hit turbulence? We got a lot of turbulence on our way back from LA. I know. That was wild. Yeah, it was fucking I was way too tired to care. I, I know. accepted my fate. It was fucking dope. And you were just on so much Ativan. No, I didn't, dude. I, I haven't taken Ativan in months. Tommy said he saw you put down your tray table to snort some. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually haven't taken Ativan in months. I did have, we, I slammed those. We had a couple of drinks before. And then I had one. Bloodies. Beer. Shout out to Barney's Beanery. Had a couple bloodies at Barney's <laughs> Beanery. Too easy. And then I had uh, one Miller Lite on the, on the plane and I passed out for like an hour. And then I woke up to the plane like actively going down. <laughs> People were just grabbing on for their life, and Rome was like, <laughs> Rome texted us and was like, "Was the was the turbulence bad back there?" <laughs> they just didn't get turbulence in the first class seating. It's like pressurized. There's like hydraulics, like a yeah. it's like a Ford F one fifty. Your seat moves. Shocks. Turbulence. Yeah, yeah. It just floats you around. You just don't get turbulence. Have you guys seen anybody reach for the rosaries? Oh yeah, that's wild. I had that happen when I was really young. I think this is actually why I've been afraid of flying because when I was. Oh, God. Oh, he's doing a pizza. He's doing a review right there. <laughs> he's doing a soda review. Uh, you were just uncovering a bunch of trauma, if you want to keep doing that. Oh, yeah. When I was really young, I was I was uh, out visiting my cousins in Illinois, and we were flying back, and... Uh, this is what subtitles are like. This was going to be a breakthrough for us. I know. We're about to... I forget what I was going to say. Story's gone. You were no, saying the was, route. I know. There was a lady next to me, and we were, like, straight up, like, free-falling. And I think, and I, I, I looked up what causes like phobias and, it, and a lot of time it comes from your parents, like projecting those fears onto you. So like you mm -hmm. see what your parents are afraid of and then you become afraid of that too. Yeah. So like my mom, we were on this plan. My mom was like horrified because we were straight up free falling and people were like, everyone's like holding hands, like the whole, yeah. the whole plane and Holy people, shit. people are like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude, it was fucking nuts. And then all of a sudden we just like caught it back and we were good. It was oh. crazy. Yeah. So that's gotta be it. Yeah. That's definitely what it was. And that makes sense. Nick has a traumatic story. Didn't, wasn't he flying as like a newborn? With his mom after 9-11 and got kidnapped and his no, mom is afraid of fl flying ever since. Oh, yeah. I mean, so it makes sense. Turban sitting next to him right after 9-11. He was a kid and his mom said, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. In trouble and the mom just shrugged her shoulders. Yeah. People got real racist after that. Yeah. But he lived. Just sucked. For who? Them. <laughs> well, we, we, you were for comedians. Against, yeah. It was way worse for comedians. for comedians, too. No, no, I didn't mean I meant the people on the other side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was them. sweet for the people who could be like, we're calling them Freedom Fries now. That's what they did. Uh, they did the same thing after Pearl Harbor. Dude, I, I read a quote this weekend that reminded me of you, Sass. And I don't, I don't mean any shade by this. I don't want to hear it. I don't want you inflicting your... I don't want you giving off your negative energy, bro. I'm all about spreading love and forgiving. Exaggeration, in the first instance, is a way of being taken seriously. And then... One is ignored for exaggerating. 
And I was like, damn, I feel that, dude. You want people to take you seriously because you're like, the plane was in full free fall. But then people will be like, Sass is just exaggerating. I wasn't exaggerating, though. <laughs> it's actually what happened. I remember it. I was a little baby boy. <laughs> mm. And you remember all of those days so clearly from that year. Yeah. I just, dude, I exaggerate too, though. I, I just, uh, I, I'm just examining, bro. No. We're done with this show's over. <laughs> no. The last dude. episode. Don't do that, bro. Fucking stomping on my funny story. <laughs> I was. An asshole. Dude, I didn't stomp on it. Dude. Yeah, you did. How did I stomp on it? I tried to just sabotage my funny story. That wasn't sabotage. It was a fucking pivot. No, it was a sabotage, and it was a funny story. It was, Dude, it was a funny story. I didn't mean to sabotage it. Oh, you sabotaged it. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you, your guys' sweatshirts were switched. For, to make it easier, little angel and devil for the thumbnail. Oh, like oh, we just lost half the show. Gone. Oh, Rowan broke the TV. Just yeah, it'll be good. Big ass handprint on the TV. Oh, come out of my paycheck too. Yeah, f- fuck. You dude. Still get one. Now I feel bad about having sabotage your story, bro. I get a paycheck. <laughs> Actually, haven't been getting paid. Yeah, they. <laughs> well, they're, they're doing like this new two every two months thing now. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking. It's, some whack ass bullshit, bro. They pay me in like iTunes gift cards and pack of Skittles. Well, you're not salaried anymore. It's just royalties from talkies ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping talkies in business. <laughs> but they said that they might license this pod though back to Barstool. We might not have to be independent anymore. That they might start putting it back on the. That'd be great, dude. You guys should get like a producer. Yeah, that would be sick. That would be so fucking fire. Well, people would be set. Wouldn't have to do it in their just their free time anymore. No, no, this is a hobby. Yeah, it was crazy how we got canceled with all those other shows, but we just kept doing it because we fucking love it. Love of the game. We just love the fucking game. Love of broadcasting. People have to buy these sweatshirts for back to school. So when SAS has dates in, at your college this coming fall, you can wear your son of a boy dad merch. Well, I'm not doing any college. It might shows. be easier for them to right just now. try and fuck you. No, no. And then get it. I'm not doing any. <laughs> but he doesn't have that I'm not much doing any shows. Or actually, that's not true. I'm going to Arizona, I think. Yes. September. Exactly. Tempe or... or uh, I got to slow... I, uh, uh, you think I'm doing too many shows? Think I'm going on the road too much? For what? For your growth as a comedian? No, for my mental health. I think I'm going to crash aggressively one day. I feel like your and mental health has been awesome recently. Yeah. Yeah. It's booming. I'm tired. I'm tad. But this is the you're latest in the show you say you're tired, too. Like, you usually say you're tired. Oh, no, I crashed a while ago. I've been yeah. on autopilot for a bit. Really? Yeah, until I told my funny story, and then you destroyed it, and then I, I went back on, on autopilot. It. I pissed on your fucking story's ashes. <sighs> fucking dropping out of the air. In a I wouldn't have to tell those good stories if you could tell a story, brother. I have a bad story. Mix in though. a story. Mix in a story here and there. Keep the fans entertained. Dude, I am a bad uh, story. played to a sold out Gramercy Theater Saturday. I saw that. I was- Bro, you should have seen it, Sass. <laughs> 5,000 people staring at me, hanging on every word. How many people were actually and there? And then I felt like I was a god. <laughs> and then Mr. Borelli comes up and I saw his lip quivering and there was a tear right on the he corner cried? of his eye. When he saw his baby boy, Frankie Borelli, Singing those songs, and that's when I he knew he really doesn't sing. Does music is the best way to communicate with people? Mm-hmm. Then afterwards, we the hit the town, on? and it was fucking incredible. Shut this down, and it's zero. Yeah, <laughs> Ben crashed. <laughs> <laughs> the lights all go off. That'd be hilarious. I think we got to get out of this room, don't we? It's four twenty-six. Uh, yeah, we got two and a half minutes, dude. I wouldn't want to like. Fucking so who's like the listener probably wants you for another two and a half. Uh Brandon. Dude, he books it fucking early as shit. Yeah. Is it Brandon's show not until eight or, or Yeah, six? and it's about football, which isn't on yet. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? GG. How, well, that was a long episode. How long do we go for? Seventy six. Fuck yeah. Seventy six. Uh dates? Either of you? I got Atlanta this week and Go check that out. It's going to be a freaking time. We're going to have fun out there. Yeah, how are we doing on tickets? Do we need to sell some more? Let's get oh, yeah. one of them is sold out. Let's go. Oh. Which one? I think the late Saturday, but I don't know. Sometimes let's, they just say it's sold out so that they can push tickets to other shows, and then it's not, but I think it so is. So let's mobilize. Let's get all of Atlanta in that bitch. And mm-hmm. I'm talking to our people over at Kennesaw. Yeah, the Kennesaw crew. I need you boys out there. Kennesaw get some nice tall glasses of milk for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got an hour on milk. I got a long milk milk bit. 
Yeah, you're a fucking Harvey milk, bro. I'm working on some new milk stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. uh, it's going to be fucking electric. Go see Sass, dude. Check my fucking boy out. You got anything before uh, Ocean's Calling? Before Lumineers? No, nothing. No shows. Just just listen to Son of a Boy Dad. Buy our merch. Go see Sass going to shows. I'm going to Italy next week. For my dad's seventy are about birthday. to be grinding this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna crank out a couple. So the next episode, excited. We'll be on. I'll be not here, but you'll still hear us. Yeah, you'll still hear our voices. We should uh, all four of us go to that Ocean's Calling thing. Yeah, definitely. Good rule. Drop acid. Yeah. Yeah, let's drop acid. Let's make it Woodstock '99. That's what I'm saying, dude. You gotta watch that. That's tonight's homework. Yeah, I'm watching that tonight. Everybody, watch it so we can Good talk about it tonight. on next week's show. Huh? So I'm doing Funny Moms tonight. What is Funny Moms? Again? Adam Friedland. Oh, is really? your it's hero on it? In what? Mullen? Yeah, I think he might be. I don't know. Are you nervous? What? Very. What time? 8 p.m. in Brooklyn. Oh, I'm in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go. What? Uh, where is it? What you gotta do. Yo, bro. Show some of that positivity you, you were ranting and do? raving about at the beginning of the show. Brother, there's nothing but positive thoughts in my head right now, except for the stomach ache. It's battling me. It's uh, I don't know where it is. I it's I'll I'll tell you after. All right, <clears throat> thanks guys. Thanks for listening. God bless. Thanks. All of your souls. Thanks a lot for listening. Bless you guys. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to bless Al Akbar. <laughs> no, dude. See you guys soon. Peace. <laughs>